Hi everybody, it's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is a bonus video that many have requested and have asked of me. What is my everyday carry and how do I carry it around? Alas, I am here to answer that question. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for joining me today. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. If you can hear a tinge of the cold that I have had, I am sorry. I'm gonna try to keep it under control, but it has been lingering and I can't get rid of it. So here we are. All right, an everyday carry. Now, rather than have a blanket definition, I'm going to tell you what it means to me, and you can either agree or not agree. First and foremost, my everyday carry, what I call my everyday carry, is my Moterm Lux 2.0 personal size in caramel. I'm gonna go and look at that, you guys. Isn't she delicious? Oh my God, I love this planner. She is a Moterm Lux 2.0 personal size, and all of my inserts are Franklin Covey compact size. This is what I reference as my guts. I have been a Franklin Covey girl for 30 years, and what that means to me is that my planner journey started with Franklin Covey. That's what they were called back then. Now they're called, I think, Franklin Planner. I worked for a financial firm and I had classic size, which is half letter, and I had dailies. So the whole year, all I had in my Franklin Covey cover was the entire year of dailies. I would have only the dailies and I would write down all the trades, all the clients that I would speak to, et cetera, et cetera. As I moved out of the finance industry, I had stayed in a classic size and moved into weeklies. At that time, it was Monticello. And then I discovered a compact size at a thrift store and decided to try it out and fell in love. So I have been in a compact size since I think 2016, 2017. And I use Franklin Covey Compact monthlies. These are actually Franklin Covey Compact inserts. And because they don't make the weeklies, they have a weekly called Five Choices but unfortunately they don't make them in compact size. So I basically created these and this is what I see all the time. Now, with that being said, pre-COVID, this baby would get thrown into my bag and she would go to work with me. She would go to work and she was either in my work bag or in my purse. I think it was my purse back then because I had a really beautiful coach. I still have that gorgeous coach bag. I'll leave a picture somewhere of it. It had three compartments and she would fit right in the center. And so I would take her to work. She would sit on my desk open right underneath the monitor right? I would have like a little shelf and she would sit right underneath the monitor propped up like this so that I could see my week at a glance and anything that I needed to see. This wasn't my work planner. This was my personal planner and she would always be open to the week. So pre-COVID, this was my everyday carry. She would go with me everywhere. Post-COVID, I work from home. Same company, but I work from home. I don't have to go into the office. I drive to the Bay Area to see my bosses. I just work from home. So when I say this is my everyday carry, it means that this is with me all day, every day, no matter where I'm at. So if I'm at my desk as I am now, she is open to my week and she's over here sitting on the side of my desk as I'm working, doing whatever. If I go to my room, my planner is with me. If I'm in the living room because I'm working from my coffee table that day, my planner is with me. She is always with me. She is open to whatever section. Mainly it's the weekly, but she's always attached to my hip. Again, I work from home. So I don't go out as often as many of you do and throw this in their purse. I do not do that with this planner unless it is for a few reasons. The first being, 
anytime I go to a doctor appointment for myself or for my kids, my planner comes with me. The reason is in my personal area, I have info here and that tells me everything I need to know about medications, specialists, surgeries, anything I need is here in my, my personal info tab. Again, that's only for doctor's appointments. If I'm running to the grocery store, she does not come with me. If I'm running to go to have drinks with my girlfriends, she's not in my purse, okay? There's a, gonna be a whole other video on what's in my purse because again, there are iterations of what's in my purse, similar to how I use my planner when I leave the house. The other reason that my planner goes with me besides medical or dental appointments for myself, my kids, my mom, is if I know I'm going somewhere, like for instance, the car wash. I go to a car wash that is hand washed. Sometimes it takes 30 to 45 minutes because everybody in the valley goes to this one place and I know I'm gonna sit there for 45 minutes, my baby comes with me and I sit at a table, I have a cup of coffee and I'm just going through my planner, you know, checking my to-dos, etc. She will come with me then. That's kind of it. She does not come with me when I go to work. If I have a meeting in the Bay Area with my bosses, she does not come with me. There's no reason for my personal planner to come with me to a meeting with my bosses. Now my work planner goes because in my work planner, I call it my Bible. It has anything and everything under the sun that I would need similar to this. And it has everything I need for my bosses, his family, etc. in that planner. And that comes with me. Now, the other question many of you have been asking is what is my pocket moleskin for? Now, my Pocket Moleskine Daily, you guys have all seen it. She is a weekly appearance on my YouTube channel. I love her. The reason that she came into play is because I wanted something that I could keep track of my day, things I did, anything of importance that I would need to reference later. And that's where she came in. This is my second year in this. I love it. This is the first thing I touch in the morning because I write down the weather. I write down my important tracking here. And then she gets put away. She gets put away until the end of the day. I do not touch her again until the end of the day. Now, when I'm ready to go to bed, I have a planner bag. I don't know if I'm gonna show it in this video or maybe in the next, because this is gonna be a series, probably three part series. So then they go in my planner bag and then I decide, okay, I'm done for the day, going to my bedroom. Then at the end of the night, this girl is the last thing I touch. I then open it, go to the day, and these, I've been sick, so there's really nothing going on. But on days that I have a lot of stuff going on, I basically download the day. How many hours did I work? Is there anything of substance that I need to remember? Here I put watered the garden. There's times where I'll be like, oh, when did I water the garden versus watered garden and refilled tomatoes? So I can be like, oh my God, I haven't done it since. Because any pertinent information of the day gets downloaded here so that at a later date, I can reference it. For instance, my 2023 calendar, I have it sitting next to my bed because I'm checking to see what did my garden look like versus this year. There's a lot of things that I reference. My sleeping pattern, I've been having issues, so I checked this time last year. When did I start to see my sleep decline? I'm able to reference that. So I don't wanna say it's a journal of the day, but it's certainly a snapshot of the day, all right? So this does not get touched except for first thing in the morning, again, to log my temperature. See here, I put watered garden. Even though I haven't even decorated or done anything, I know I need to put here that I watered the garden because that is something that I know where to find it and what to look for, see, water tomatoes. I know where I write things and what to look for when I'm referencing back to them. And then again, at the end of the night, I then purge the day and write down anything that will be notable for me at a later time.
Okay, so this is not my everyday carry. She sits in my planner bag until I need her, and that is it. Now this one, I will have her in my hands. Like if I'll grab my planner bag, but she'll be in my actual hands, unless I have my water bottle with me or something else that I have in my hand, then she'll be dropped into my planner bag. So that is what my everyday carry means to me. She is with me every part of the day, all day long, but she is not in my purse 24 seven. She just isn't, nor is my pocket moleskin. This one is never in my purse, okay? This one will at times get thrown in my purse, depending on the situation. I hope that makes sense. So the next video that I'm gonna be making is going to be my actual planner bag. I just wanted to make this video quick, just to explain what an everyday carry means to me. Pocket Moleskine, she stays in the planner bag unless I'm going to reference her either in the morning, at night, or when I need to reference her for any kind of information she stays in my planner bag. This is with me all day long. This planner is with me beside me regardless. She is always with me, but she is not something I carry in my bag every single time I go out. It is dependent on what I'm doing and where I'm going. I hope that makes sense. So this is part one of my everyday carry. Part two will be what is in my everyday planner bag. And the third will be what is in my purse because what's in my purse ties in to what's in here. A lot of you are gonna say, why wouldn't you take this with you all the time if it's your everyday carry? There's a reason and in order to share that reason, I need to show you my purse so that you can see how that functions on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So part one completed. Keep an eye out for part two. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that answers a lot of your questions. Stay tuned for part two and part three of this series of my everyday carry planners and planner bags. If you want to know when those come out, make sure that you put on the notification button because I also don't know when they're going to drop, but I know that they're coming. So again, if you are new here and you enjoy this kind of content, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. For everybody else, thanks so much for spending time with me. I always enjoy sharing my planner with all of you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.